novel, your musical talent wasn't discovered by your family, but it was discovered by a commission that came to your school to examine the children. Tell me exactly what happened. It was very funny, really, because I was in kindergarten, and some commission of four women came and began to check my ear. And they found my ears rather good, <laughs> rather good for musical education, and then advised to my mother to prepare documents to, you understand. And I began when I was six. It was uh, very suddenly, you understand, I have no parents, musician. My mother is a doctor, my father is a worker, and uh, no. Though everybody in my family has a musical ear, you understand, it was quite a surprise for everybody when I was taken in the Central Musical School, because it was the first competition in my life, and very difficult one. I think because there were more than 100 uh, competitors, and they took only 15. And uh, you understand, I had to compete with uh, another, another ch children, which were children of musical musicians, and they knew something already on the piano. And I did, uh, I knew almost nothing. It was very difficult, they only checked, and they found that I have memory, you understand, Re a sense of reason, or... And they took me like a candidate. And I don't regret, I never regret about it. Well, after you had gone into the Central Musical School, where did you go after that? What studies did you have after that? I graduated from the school with gold medal. It was <laughs> another thing, very strange. And then I entered the Moscow Conservatory because it, it was only one way if you finish school of Moscow Conservatory, you go to Moscow Conservatory. I, um, I was very happy to, to be in class with my professor, Professor Daryansky. He's now a member of the jury, you know. Is yes. it difficult to play when your professor is on the jury? <laughs> it's difficult because I know that he is very nervous in this moment. And uh, once, during another competition, when he was a member of the jury, I saw him taking pills against heart attack. <laughs> it was very nervous. It made me nervous very much, you understand. And you know, he, um, he has no right to vote for me. That's why he, he can do only to be nervous, only, <laughs> not to, to help me or, you understand. And does it make you more nervous than up on the stage? I, and me, it makes me nervous very much. Though I, how to say, it is very good when you have some, some soul close to you, close to you, which knows you, and I know him. When you're not actually playing or teaching, what do you do in your spare time? I enjoy very much old theaters, especially old Russian theaters. I'm very fond of architecture at all. I like walking through the old cities. I saw a lot of them in our country. I think it is uh, very ple it's always very pleasant for me. And since you came to Dublin, have you had a chance to see anything of Dublin? Yes. From the first day I, I went through the city and I catch cold immediately. <laughs> it was very cold. But the, the Dublin I liked very much. I liked very much. I, I entered into St. Patrick's Cathedral, it was very beautiful, very beautiful. And there have been an awful lot of changes in the Soviet Union in recent years. For a musician like you, has that given you opportunities for more contact internationally, or has it affected you at all? No, it helped very much, I think. Now we feel more free than it was. But we, uh, we have lost another thing, another confidence of future. It is very unpleasant thing, perhaps it is... You understand, I feel uh, me, uh, the part of my country, it is my home. And uh, if my country is ill, I am ill. It is a very bad feeling. I want my country everything the best, but I don't know how, what to begin with. So does it make it hard to concentrate on your musical career, to concentrate on your music, yes. when you know there is yes. disruption? Yes, it is harder. Though we have more opportunity to go, so, uh, for example, uh, nobody had opportunity to to learn in another conservatories in another country. Now a lot, a lot of Russian mu musicians, uh, young, for example, in England, in America. Would you like to study abroad? No, I'm teaching already in Moscow Conservatory. I'm very happy because it is a very interesting job. 
we have uh, with my professor we have the same class you understand and our students are very strong and very interesting i go almost every day in the conservatory with pleasure why should i go abroad next we hear pavel nesasian plays grave on the seventh piano sonata it's an enigmatic sort of piece rarely played but certainly this is one of the best performances i've ever heard of this 